Hi YouTube, today we're going to be looking at a couple Colt 1911s and I've already showed both these Colt 1911s on previous videos but I'm going to use these two examples to clarify something that I explained in a previous video that seemed to confuse a couple people. So before we go any further, I'm going to show you that these Colt 1911s are empty and they have nothing in them. Everybody is safe to watch this video. We have two clear firearms here in front of us. So what we have here, we have an original Colt 1911. This one is the original Colt 1911. This is from 1918. This is a what some people refer to as a World War I 1911. This is the original design by John Moses Browning, made by Colt. It says United States property right here on it. This is the original design of a 1911. And what we're going to be comparing it to, this is a Series 70 Colt Gold Cup National Match. This one was made in the mid-70s, 1976 to be exact. And um, this is actual Series 70. They're both Colts. They're both government models. They're both full-size. 5 inch barrel 1911s. They're both made by Colt. Now, <clears throat> the topic of the day is going to be the difference in a Series 70 and every other 1911. And what makes a Series 70 a Series 70? So, what I'm going to start off with, I'm going to start off with this old one. This is the original design. This is a Colt 1911 chambered in 45. So, what we're going to do here is I'm going to Break this thing down for you, and I usually don't do this on camera because it turns into a disaster a lot of times, but I'm going to clear all this up for everybody. So, we're going to take this thing down, see if we can do this on camera without looking real bad. Take the slide off of it, and... Take the bushing out of it. And we got it fully broken down here. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. This one's a little bit more difficult at times because it's a little bit tighter. And I'll explain all that here in a second. Bear with me for a second, folks. Let's get it broken down. One second. We will we will show that there is a reason to my madness here. Now, we have both of them completely broken down. Now, the original Colt 1911, if you'll notice, inside this um, slide here, there is no firing pin block in it. There's nothing. This was the original design. This is the way the 1911 was made. You would see a little plunger up here if this was a Series 80 gun, but... This does not have it in it, so this is quote unquote a Series 70 gun. That's what everybody thinks of is what a Series 70 gun is, is it doesn't have the firing pin block in it or anything like that. It will look like this. You can you can slide the slide back and if you don't see that little plunger on it, it does not have the firing pin block in it. You'll also see the little thing that sticks up here on the Series 80 guns. That is what most people think is a series, <clears throat> what makes it a series 70, but that is not correct. They are right that a series 70 gun does not have the firing pin block, but that is not what differentiates it between a series 70 and a series 80. This, 
does not have a firing pin block in it. But it was made in 1918 by Colt. Does that make this a Series 70? It absolutely does not because it was made 50, 60 years before 1970 even came about. Now, this is a Gold Cup National Match Series 70. You can see on here it says Series 70. And they started making these in the 50s, the Gold Cup National Match. So... It still does not have a firing pin block in it. You don't see the little plunger on the slide or anything. And they didn't have those in like 1956 when they started making the Gold Cup National Match. They just, it was not called a Series 70 because it wasn't a Series 70. It was just a Colt 1911. Just whatever features happened to come on it, that's what, that's what they had on it. But in 1970, they came out with what they called the Series 70. And the difference in the Series 70 and the previous models, which is what they all look like right here, was on this um, barrel, it had this collet bushing. They changed over to this type of bushing versus this type of bushing. This bushing was just a regular 1911 bushing that was on every 1911 that's almost ever been produced. Series 70, they changed over to this. This thing tightens down on the barrel on the end of it to where it does not move and it will improve accuracy. Supposedly. That is their, that is their main claim to fame with this. This collet bushing that um, tightens up on the end of it improves the accuracy because it keeps the um, barrel from moving when the thing's in full battery and it locks up. And it makes perfect sense. Now, some of the complaints people had was these broke on the Series 70 guns. I personally have owned a bunch of these things in my life and I have never seen one of these break. But that doesn't mean they don't break. I just personally have never encountered one of them break. When you go buy an original Series 70 gun, it should have this collet bushing. If you buy a pre-Series 70 Gold Cup National Match, it will not say Series 70 on the side and it will not have this bushing in it. Now, around 1982, they came out with the Series 80. And for instance, they had a Gold Cup National Match, and it said Series 80 on it. The difference was they added a firing pin block to it, and they stopped using this collet bushing on it because... There was problems with them breaking and people complained and all that. So they changed it over to Series 80. The Series 80, they put a firing pin block in it. That is the difference in a Series 80 gun and a Series 70 gun. But you can make the argument that a Series 80 gun just has the firing pin block. That's what makes it different from this one, which is not a Series 70 gun. This is a 1918 one. It's not a Series anything gun. It's just the Colt 1911. When they put that firing pin block in it, it was Colt pretty much caving into the government, thinking that um, they wanted to add safety features onto it because the guns were not safe enough. They weren't drop safe and all that. It's no different than when the Smith & Wesson caved in to the Clinton administration and they added that key lock to the side of the revolver line to make them quote unquote safer. These guns are safe. They got a variety of safety features on them. They have the th grip safety. They have the thumb safety. I mean, it, it can't get much more safe than this. They're actually got more safety features than today's modern polymer guns, 1911s do. They felt they had to make them even safer, so they added all that stuff onto them, and that's where we that's where we stand today. Now, they, in the Series 80 guns, when they added all that firing pin block, that plunger, and all the stuff in here to make it quote unquote safer, it affected the trigger. What a 1911 is known for is they have an exceptional trigger. It's just a superior design. No modern pistol is going to uh, match the feel of the trigger of a 1911. It's never going to happen. No polymer gun has ever had as good of a trigger as a 1911. 
This one probably has the worst trigger of any 1911 that anybody will ever encounter. It's still going to be better than a modern Glock or something like that. The Gucci Glockers can get as mad as they want, but this gun here will have a better trigger than any Glock that they have. It's just, that's just the way it is. It's a little bit heavier than one like this, but it's still just a crisp, far superior trigger than anything made today. So, that Series 80 system that they had in there greatly affected that. Still a pretty good trigger, but it's just a little bit more complicated. And when people go in and modify stuff, it's a lot more stuff to mess with. There's another hole in the slide where the little plunger goes right in here. And it's just, it, it definitely complicates things. So Colt got a lot of backlash for making the um, Series 80 gun. So what they did is they reintroduced their guns without having that firing pin block in probably about 10 years ago give or take i don't know the exact time but the exact time is irrelevant and they reintroduced what they call quote unquote the series 70 the series 70 it's it's stamped they roll mark them series 70 on there and what they did is they eliminated the firing pin block in them so they gave you the option where you could buy a gun with the firing pin block and a quote unquote series 80 or the reissued series 70s but what they didn't do is put this collet bushing on it so everybody thinks because the modern series 70 colts and i've shown a couple of those on here say series 70 on them that the reason it's a series 70 is it doesn't have the firing pin block in it that's simply not true this one does not have a firing pin block in it, and it was not a series of anything. They didn't even know what a series was when this gun was made. They've always not had a firing pin block in them. The only thing that they made a change was, was they made the Series 80s guns, they put a firing pin block and all that stuff inside of it. They made them like this for years and years and years and years, for 1911 all the way up till 1970. And then they decide to come up with the quote series 70 and the only difference is this one and this one was this bushing on the end they put this on it and that's what made it called a series 70 they added this bushing onto it for improved accuracy now before i start getting a whole bunch of negative comments i understand there's a lot of differences in this gun and this gun i understand that 100 percent, i get it we're not talking about features and modern features and all that. I'm talking about the basic design of this gun was the same for from 1911 until 1970. And what is that, 60 years or so. It was made basically the same design. And then they decided to accurateize these things. And this was one of the things they did. And this is what made a Series 70 a Series 70. Not the firing pin block because they already didn't have a firing pin block. You can get a Gold Cup National Match in 1960, 65, 1969. It was the same gun. It did not say Series 70 on it because it wasn't made yet. It wasn't 1970 yet. And what made this one different than the previous model was this collet bushing on the end of it. Everything else was the same. It was just a, it didn't even say gold cup on the side of it. It was just a national match, but it was called a gold cup national match. And now people call it the pre series 70 gold cup national match. And it doesn't have this collet bushing on it. This is what makes a series 70 a series 70 folks is this bushing on the end of this thing. Not the fact that it doesn't have a firing pin block in it. People are correct. When you go look for a Series 70 gun, it will not have the firing pin block in it. And now people call all the 1911s that don't have firing pin blocks in them a Series 70 style. I mean, they're correct, but that's not what makes it not have a firing pin block in a Series 70 because this one was made far before that. And this has a quote-unquote Series 70 style firing pin system in it. So I just wanted to make this video to clarify a couple things. Just people seem to get confused. I got a couple of very negative comments about 
from a gentleman who said he bought a modern Series 70 gun and it didn't have the bushing in it. So that isn't what makes a Series 70 a Series 70. It was the firing pin block and he went and tried to find one of these bushings and he found one on eBay or something and he put one in there and he said it didn't, um, it didn't tighten his groups up. Well, folks, I'm going to tell you something. Accuracy is a very generic term when it comes to handguns. A handgun is usually as accurate as the person using it. And this thing here is put together so loosely because it's over 100 years old. But I can sit there and, and ping steel all day long with this. It's got horrible sights on it. And it's put together so loose, but I can um, shoot it just as accurate as some guy next to me with his souped up Kimber or whatever one of the, or his Springfield TRP or whatever his fancy 1911 of the day is. It's all going to be in the shooter and I have a lot of trigger time with these things and I can do it. Look at these sights on this thing. It's terrible. I mean, they're basically non-existent, but if you can pick these sights up you can you can shoot this gun just as accurate now if you want to talk about true accuracy you can put both of these guns in a ransom rest and that takes the human um, error out of it and this one's going to shine a million times over it's got a, a match grade barrel in it it's got a national match barrel in it and it's got that collet bushing in it. It's put together a whole lot tighter. It's all hand fit and everything. And it will be way more accurate than this one. But the human hand is not going to tell that big a difference in the two. So this guy buying this bushing and saying it didn't improve his groups and going off on me and then telling me I don't know what I'm talking about. That this bushing doesn't make a gun a Series 70 is nonsense and people should do their research before they go off on somebody especially somebody who's just trying to pass information on to people that um that may or may not know this folks is what differentiated the series 70 gun from the regular colt 1911 that's that's what did it it's not the firing pin block the firing pin block came in 1982 i believe and that was called the series 80 and when they had to save face and eliminate that fireman block or at least give consumers the option, they called it the Series 70, the re-release. And now, I'm pretty certain that the guns don't even say Series 70 on them anymore. They could. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think they just have like the Colt Classic and stuff like that. And... It's the Series 70 style, if you, for argument's sake, which means it does not have the firing pin block in it. But, folks, if you have any questions on what I just presented, feel free to ask. I'm pretty knowledgeable on this stuff. I, I do know what I'm talking about. I've been around these things for a very, very, very long time, and I wanted people to know that when I said a Series 70... <laughs> was differentiated with this bushing i wasn't kidding because this gun did not have a fire pin block in it it was made 60 years before 1970 ever came about and it wasn't called a series 70 what made this gun called a series 70 was the only difference this bushing and after that they were called a series 80 so if you have any questions on this, feel free to ask. I will answer them the, the best that I know how to, to the best of my knowledge. If I can't find the answer for you, or if I can't answer it for you, I'll find the answer for you. But anyway, folks, thank you very much for watching my video, and you folks have a great day.